from from Hitman 47. In the future, the Antichrist will be an engineered person. He will not be from God. He will be created another way. Uh, that means cloning. That means programmable DNA matter. That means 3D printing. That means artificial intelligence. Separately, those are don't throw a lot of red flags up, but put together, you have the recipe for an engineered person. So, anyway, I wanted to add this to you. Also, the Antichrist, everybody will love him. He will be the hero. He will come to save the world, whatever it is. But also, he will use the Bible to protect himself. Because what I am sharing with you, most churches are not teaching. If a church doesn't is not teaching you about transhumanism, they're not teaching you where the true temple of God is, where it plainly states um, where Satan and where he wants to set himself up uh, and declare himself as God. He will also use the Holy Bible um, to protect himself. Um, because that's the thing, if, if things are not being taught correctly, um, the scripture will be used uh, in a bad light, in a bad way. Um, that's why a lot of people don't... Uh, like religion or anything to do with Jesus Christ because things that are being taught uh, don't make a lot of sense um, and people shy away from it and a lot of people that are in the Christian community think they have it all figured out like I don't even have it all figured out and they come across very judgmental um, very hypocritical not just only Christianity but other religions so and that's what the enemy wants they want religions fighting against religions when the true enemy is sitting back just laughing so what I'm showing you is what the ultimate one game is. So the part of this trailer I want to show you is a couple of things. But notice red and black symbolism is of sat satanic control, red and black. Um, also, engineered person. Also, very little important clip that you'll see when it gets there. I'm going to stop it. So I'm going to play it for you right now. Here we go. He's an engineered human being. More intelligent than normal people. His name is 47. His name is 47. Does that ring a bell with anybody out there? The mark of the beast has to be calculated. It has to be counted in every, every verse that it is mentioned. It has to be calculated or counted. And here, here's, here's wisdom that it speaks of is... The mark of the beast is the mark of a man, and the mark of the man, which is a number, which is the name of the beast. So here we go. The mark of a man. How do you know you're a man? A you man. It's your DNA. Your DNA makeup. Okay? So then, the mark of the beast is a number. Change the mark of the man and his number, or his DNA, he becomes a beast which is his name, a number, 666, um, which you can go to my website and see how to count the mark of the beast, and i show you how to count them. Uh, a lot of people think RFID chip is the mark of the beast. Now, there's some debate on that, um, because this is, I'm going to go by scripture, I'm going to go by the character of God, and also, what does the Bible say about it? That's, you know... So, an RFID chip, if that is the mark of the beast, then somebody that is asleep, I can sneak up on him and insert the RFID chip, and boom, he's got the mark of the beast, and bada bing, bada boom, he's going to hell. All this stuff that people preach, okay, about the RFID chip. I just want you to think about that. You can sit out there and argue all you want about RFID chip is the mark of the beast. Now, am I saying take the, uh, the RFID chip? No, it is a bad thing. It is a tracking device. Um, will that come to pass in the future? I don't know. Uh, so I'm not saying that. I'm not saying the RFID chip is a good thing and we need to take it. I'm not saying that. But I am telling you, the mark of the beast, you will want it. That is how Satan works. That is how God allows Satan to work. Um, it's temptation. It's you want it. That's how you fall because you're not paying attention to what's truth and what is real. Uh, you're wanting something to make you fall, whether it's pleasurable, whatever it is. That's how it works. It ain't going to change in the end. Um, but